you're going to do two IXL lessons today. I know that seems like a lot, but they're both going to be pretty easy and go pretty quickly. Um, this would be the start of our next unit, which we're not going to get too far into because it would be one that would be hard to do um, through remote learning. But I want to give you just a little bit of exposure to it. Um, and it's on three dimensional shapes. Um, and so that's really hard to do. Um, in two dimension while we're in person, but then even harder to do um, when we're not together because um, I usually bring out the shapes so we can see all of the properties, which we wouldn't be able to do um, just through a computer screen. So you're gonna do sections H.1 in geometry to get to a SMART score of 50 and H.2 to get to a SMART score of 50. So I'm gonna um, go through those with you right now and show you um, some of the vocabulary that you might not know on your own already. Although you will have seen some of these um, throughout your time in elementary and junior high math. <clears throat> so this first one says, what is the shape of this base? So we have a, a polyhedron here. We have a three-dimensional shape. Those dotted lines in the back tell me that those um, segments are behind the figure. And um, those dotted lines are called edges. So are these solid lines up front? All of the points are called vertices. And then in this particular figure, like the, the reddish or maroon or pink or whatever color you're seeing on your screen, shapes are the faces. So what is the shape of its base? Well, most of these figures are gonna be sitting on the base. Um, that's not always the case. They can be turned and not sitting on the base. Um, but you'll see that most of them are sitting on their base. And so the base um, are the two um, shapes that are exactly the same. So they're parallel shapes. Those two shapes will never touch, and they're exactly the same. We have two triangles. So the shape of the base is a triangle. And if we look at our choices, these are going to be pretty obvious. We don't have any decagons. In this figure, we don't have any hexagons and we don't have any heptagons. We have rectangles and then the base, which is a triangle. So it's pretty obvious that our answer is a triangle. Look at this figure. What is the shape of its base? Well, our options are square, triangle, circle, and decagon. Again, it's going to be pretty obvious that all of these are either rectangles or squares. Well, it's sitting on a square, so it's, its base is a square. Look at this figure, what is the shape of its base? Our options are circle, rectangle, triangle, and nonagon. So this is a, a pyramid, um, and it's a triangular pyramid. Its base is a triangle, so it's a triangular pyramid, so its base is a triangle. There we go. <clears throat> what is the shape of its base? We have another pyramid here, but it's not a triangular pyramid, and that's one of my options. So we do have triangles here, but those are the faces. The base that it's sitting on, the one shape by itself here, is a square. So that's that base. Um, this is not a polyhedron. This is just a three-dimensional figure um, called a cylinder. It's not a polyhedron because it has curved parts, and its base is a circle. So that's hidden down here. I'm not going to scroll down. I'm just going to choose that. That's a circle down there. And what is the shape of this base? Um, again, all we have here to choose from, if we just look at the figure are rectangles, it's sitting particularly on that rectangle, so its base is a rectangle. <clears throat> and then here we have a cone, so the shape of its base that it's sitting on right here is a circle, and that gets me to a SMART score of 50. So that one should be pretty easy for you to do, just looking at the shapes and naming the basis.